Welcome back everybody. Today is my second video for December the 20th of 2011. If you just found my YouTube channel, I'd like to invite you to go to my prophecy site that you see right here, BibleProphecyMan.com. Once you're there, scroll down. You'll be able to click this link and you'll be able to download my book today for free. It's a product of 35 years of work to show you that all the signs of these last days are either already fulfilled or in the process of being fulfilled and there's only a few prophecies left before the Lord comes back for his church. Now earlier in my first post I gave you some information about Isaiah chapter 19 that has to do with the Egyptians fighting against the Egyptians in the last days and then Egypt being turned over to a cruel leader and we see that the Egypt is in the process of going through this development right now and uh, soon after <clears throat> the elections are over I imagine that this cruel leader will come up and I believe that he'll shoot up from the Muslim Brotherhood <clears throat> now keep in mind that as I mentioned before in my previous video that Jesus talked about this kingdom against kingdom uh, as well as we see it here when he was talking about the Egyptians coming against the Egyptians uh, but in this particular verse in Isaiah 19 verses 1 through 2 we also see that God mentions kingdom against kingdom this would be the civil unrest in the last days throughout many many nations around the world so with that let me go to a an article that came out because I'm keeping you up to date what's going on in Syria because in Syria as well as Egypt and many other of these Middle East nations they have been fighting against themselves Syrians against Syrians and in today's news we see that Syria's unrest and dozens of army defectors were gunned down by the government and when you scroll down and obviously I will give you the link for this so that you can read the entire article if you'd like to but it says in a separate development the UN General Assembly voted by a strong majority to condemn the Syrian authorities for the crackdown which has left some 5,000 people dead since the protest against President Bashar al-Assad began in March so <clears throat> there's definitely signs here the continuing unrest as the Lord pointed out in Matthew 24 7 and as what we see in Isaiah 19 where the kingdom will be coming against kingdom so there's some of the proof that what the Lord told us about these last days is still going on and again as I mentioned in my first video it really fired up January of 2011 when it believe it started in uh, Tunisia and spread to Yemen and all these other uh, nations that are currently seeing this civil unrest now let me go on here if I may to a uh, another prophecy and you'll see this in my book here right now this is peace and safety that I was showing you before now let's scroll down to get to page 335 and you'll be able to see this in my book if you go into my book you'll see in chapter 14 is the prophecy about the raging waves and the sea it says on the earth nations will be in, per, in, in anguish and perplexity at the roaring and the tossing of the sea Luke 21 through tw uh, Luke chapter 21 verse 25b so the Lord was telling us that in the last days where we're seeing all of these signs one of the signs that we would be seeing are huge storms and obviously these storms would be causing the roaring and the tossing of the seas and in 2011 we've seen a lot of these storms uh, hit the United States the Philippines Japan uh, China I mean they've been all over the place now I wanted to bring this to your attention because keep in mind the Lord said when these things come the nations would be what they would be in anguish and perplexity and this is exactly what we've been seeing over the course of these years now let me go to the current news December the 20th we see here 
the Philippines have uh, declared uh, a national calamity. The Philippines just got smashed by a storm or a typhoon that was came through, and you'll see now as an updated number, there's been a thousand people who have been killed by this typhoon that took place this past weekend. And uh, it is a really a bad scene there, and uh, the authorities uh, are trying to, uh, you know, give aid to the people in the storm, and I believe that there's some 600 people who that are not accounted for yet and uh, you'll see the destruction here I'll play this for you no no and the death toll seems to be rising and there's still hundreds of people who are missing as well I'm in the city of Cagayan de Oro and and people here have said they really really do not want to have mass burials if at all possible uh, the city of Iligan which is about an hour away from here they've taken a different approach and they are going to start doing these mass burials of bodies uh, later today, but there does seem to be a real sense of disorganization. Bodies are piling up all over the place and they're still being found just down the river and um, from where I am. Uh, 40 bodies were found earlier today and they were just taken straight to a dump site apparently. Uh, that's not to say they're going to stay there, but there's just a real sense that the mortuaries can't take any more and, and people just don't know what to do. I'm at an evacuation center where just in this one place there's about 4,000 people who call it home now. Uh, and President Aquino, uh, the country's president, has just arrived here. Uh, it's his first visit to the region, and uh, he's really responding to pressure. People saying, you've got to come, you've got to come and see how bad this is. He's talking to people in the evacuation center. And just earlier this morning, uh, he uh, said that, um, that he would put the whole area under a state of calamity. Now, when you watch the news and you hear what Jesus told us about the anguish and perplexity and you see you know nations that are just being inundated with water and flooding and people don't have shelter they don't have food we've we've seen in 2011 problems like we've never seen before and they are getting worse this is what the scientists are telling us expect more of the same and obviously, if you read Mark chapter 13, verse 8, the Lord said that these last days events would be taking place as a woman with birth pangs. And that's what we're seeing, increased birth pangs. Now, let me get to another uh, article here, that, and I'm going to connect the dots between this prophecy, because God told the prophet Zechariah that in the last days, uh, Jerusalem would be a burdensome stone. Let me read this. It says, it says, In that day I will make Jerusalem a burdensome stone for all people. All right? Not just some, all of them. All that burden themselves with it shall be cut in pieces. In other words, anybody, right? Because it says all that burden themselves are going to be cut into pieces. So when you mess around with Jerusalem, there's a strict warning for anyone that messes around with God's holy city, and God said they will be cut into pieces, though all the people of the earth be gathered against it. So we know that in the last days, everybody's going to come against Israel. Everybody's going to come against God's chosen city, his picked out city, Jerusalem. Well, eventually, the Lord, when he comes back, he will be ruling from this holy city, Jerusalem. So we see... Uh, many things that are taking place in the last days of which we see Jerusalem has become a burdensome stone for many people. Now in this article you'll see today it says Germany, Israel's plan for new West Bank homes devastating to peace. Now in my first video today I showed you how Paul warned in 1 Thessalonians 5.3 that when you shall hear them calling peace and safety, sudden destruction will come. Well, we know that there's a call for peace and safety. We know also that the peace process has broken down and it's been stalled now for two and a half, three years. And we also know by the news that not only is the West Bank a one of those contended areas for the PLO, but specifically East Jerusalem 
And this is where the prophet Zechariah 12.3 comes into play because Jerusalem has become a burdensome stone, not only for the peace process, but for the rest of the world as they're worried about another major war in the Middle East. So let's see what it says. It says, Israel must refrain from uh, constructing new settlements in the West Bank and East Jerusalem. A top aide from German Chancellor Angela Merkel said on Monday, following Israel's announcement of over a thousand new housing units beyond the Green Line. Merkel's spokesperson, George Strether, said that Israel's recent announcement that it would seek <clears throat> uh, contractors to build apartments in both areas areas conveys a devastating message with regard to the current efforts to resume peace negotiations between the Israelis, the Israelis and the Palestinians. He said Germany urgently calls on the Israeli government to refrain from venting or inventing bids for the apartments or inviting bids for the apartments. It says Israeli-Palestinian peace talks have been frozen for three years in part because the continued Israeli settlement construction in the territories captured by Israel in 1967 and still claimed by the Palestinians. On Sunday, the housing ministry published tenders of 1,000 28 homes to be built in the West Bank and, as I said, East Jerusalem. And part of a plan to build 6,000 housing units throughout Israel. And according to the statement by the ministry, 500 homes will be built in our Hummer of the South Jerusalem on land occupied during the 1967 Six Day War. 348 in the West Bank settlement of Bitar, Italy, and 100 in 80 in the Givet, the Viev, which lies between Jerusalem and Ramallah. So here we have uh, Israel saying we're going to be building in land that is content. There's much contention between the Palestinians and Israel. We have other forces like Germany getting in the way. They're burdening themselves over Jerusalem just like the Lord said, and it's not just is the uh, Germans who are doing this, predominantly all the people who want Israel to come together with the Palestinians and to stop building in land that will, in my mind, will be the cause for the next war because Israel is not going to stop building in East Jerusalem. It will become the pinnacle problem as it already has. And we believe that the Palestinians will try to take out Israel and to reclaim East Jerusalem as well as the West Bank. And we believe when this happens, we will see uh, not only will East Jerusalem uh, be that burdensome stone, as the Lord warned uh, the prophet Zechariah, but it will also fulfill uh, the call for peace and safety and the sudden destruction that will happen when the peace process can't uh, start going again and the Palestinians will know that the only way that they're going to be able to take control of East Jerusalem is by war and this is where the Psalm 83 war will come into play. So there's a lot of things that are taking place and a lot of people who can't connect the dots because they don't know what to look for. And this is why it's so important to know what the Lord has warned in his word.